Hello and welcome to Let's Play Escape from Monkey Island. In the last episode, we discovered that Herman Toothrot is none other than our grandpa Horatio Marley, and then promptly escaped from Monkey Island, making another I ultimate insult. I can't believe my granddaughter married you. There you go, there's old granddad. Um, so yeah, we escaped from Monkey Island, we're now on to Act 3 Plus, Beyond Monkey Island. We have got one of these amplification towers, which... Uh, Ozymandrio and Lachaka setting up to spread the effect of the ultimate insult and we need to get rid of it. So, this, oh and also this might possibly be, most probably be the last episode of this uh, Let's Play, it might be the finale, let's see. Look at really, really tall tower. Now that's a tower. Oh, I, I should also mention, we're in a giant robot monkey, yeah. We just are. Uh, look at the biggest... Oh, the conch cell is like the, the radar dish, I guess. That's the second largest... No. No, that is the largest conch shell I've ever seen. Oh, wow. We should take a photo. Look at medium-sized tower. For a medium-sized tower, it's pretty huge. And then there's this tiny tower over here. That's the shortest of the very, very, very tall towers. Okay, so is this going to be some sort of King Kong type deal where we climb up the tower and crash it down that way? What have we got? Can Not we... now. Oh, okay, so we can't access our inventory. Um, what if we just go to use? There's no way to get to the top of that tower from down here. Oh, maybe we need to jump from the small one to the medium to the big? What a, what a good uh, robot monkey that is. Very agile. Oh. Wait, I didn't want to... Oh, I thought it would jump too. Let's try that again. Can we change direction on here? No, we can't. Oh, okay. What about... Can we pick up the tower? I'm not picking that up. No. Can we climb the medium-sized tower? There doesn't appear to be a way for the robot to climb this tower. Hmm. Okay. So we can only climb the small one. Oh, what's that over there? Is that a stick? Is that stick shining? What is that? Really big plank. Oh, do we need to make like a bridge or something? Uh, let's use it with the small tower, short tower. Oh wait, are we going to dive off it? <laughs> or jump? Oh, we might be able to wobble on it and jump up. However, I, I am seeing more planks over here. Do we need these ones as well? Uh, no. No, of course we don't. They're not shiny. We only use the shiniest planks around here. Actually, I think, look, there's already one on that medium-sized tower anyway, so I reckon we're going to jump from that one, onto that one, and then onto the top one. That sounds like a plan. I can't use it from down here. Oh, not that one, that one. E, work like a charm. Bounce on really big plank. Look at excessively large switch. That is a very big switch. Or look at the biggest conch shell. Uh, that's the second largest. No, oh, okay. Uh, do we pull the switch or do we bounce more? Maybe bouncing more will dislodge it. But we could just try turning it off. There's a very large switch sticking out of this shell. What's wrong, you reanimated lump of voodoo flotsam? I'll tell you what's wrong. This so-called ultimate insult doesn't work. I tried and locked it against every piece of junk in this accursed hovel, but nothing happens. Ha! <laughs> well, I guess Grandpa was too smart for you diabolical dodos after all. Quiet, you. Grr. 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 
What in the name of Adam Smith's invisible hand is that? That? Oh, that's nothing. Just a piece of junk I bought on my honeymoon. Darn! The gubernatorial seal of Melee Island. Of course! Let me see that. Well, that seems to have shaved the proverbial dingo. Let's test this bugger out. Uh, pig nose. What? Would you be so good as to stand over there? Look, Mr. High and Mighty Mandrel, I'm getting awfully tired of following orders. I think it's about time we renegotiated the terms of my employment. Or what? Or I'll fill your belly full of lead, you sissified fossil! No one messes with Pink Nose the Pirate and lives to tell the tale! Why, I'll rip off your arms and I'll beat you! You were saying? Please, please don't hurt me, Mr. Mandrel. I'll do whatever you say from now on, I promise. Take a long walk off a short pier, you craven wretch. <laughs> Righto, sir. Well, Mrs. Threepwood, it seems as though the power of the ultimate insult is finally mine. <laughs> oh, let me use it on Elaine. All in due time, Captain. But first, let's give her a taste of things to come. Ah, you're a sadist after my own blackened lump of a heart, Mandrill. For years, the Caribbean has been buffeted by the unpredictable winds of runaway piracy. Now, by the power of the ultimate insult, I hereby banish those chaotic tempests and usher in a new age of orderly consumerism. I am Ozymandrel. Look upon my works, ye mighty pirates, and despair! No! Where's the kaboom? They're supposed to be a Caribbean shattering kaboom! Work! Damn your eyes! Work! I knew this ridiculous plan would never succeed. I guess this just goes to show that you should never send an Australian girly man to do the work of a real pirate. Lechuk, get back here and help me fix this thing. Oh, Ozzy. You two stay here and guard the robot. Good luck. Try not to break any of my stuff. Nice kid, but about as sharp as a soggy pancake. You know what I mean? Tell me about it. I'll show that chum bucket panty waist some real voodoo. Honey, I'm home. <clears throat> Guybrush, look out for the ultimate insult. Oh, I don't know how you dimwits managed to sabotage my magnificent insult amplification apparatus, but I'll at least have the satisfaction of annihilating your arrogant pirate souls. Somehow, I always knew it would end like this. Really? Prepare to meet your doom, Three Puds. What the didgeridoo is that? Let's get out of here. You won't escape that easy, you swashbuckling ninnies. Barrier Reef! Ah, ye be looking like ants from up here. Guybrush? Yes? Am I the only one seeing a giant walking statue of LeChuck on our front lawn? Uh, no. Elaine! <laughs> Guybrush! Help! Hang on, I'll be right back. Guybrush, don't you dare leave me. Don't worry, my beloved. Guybrush isn't going anywhere. <laughs> Let go of me, you rock brain monstrosity. You insignificant mortal flea. How dare you wield your pathetic voodoo magics against the immortal might of the demon pirate Lechuk! I'll grind your bones to make me grog, 
you triple timing bastard! Oh, shut up! How may I serve you, master? Well, eventually, I'll be wanting you to squish every pirate on the face of the planet into a sticky red goo. But for now, let's just kill Guybrush Threeprod! <laughs> Oh. Come on, guys! We've got to get this giant monkey robot moving now! Where's my granddaughter? Actually, that's kind of a funny story. Freepod! Where did you find that ridiculous-looking contraption? It was a present from H.T. Marley. Grandpa? I'm in here, dear! Well, what an unexpected family reunion! Too bad I have to ruin it by savaging your puny minds with the power of the ultimate insult! Now what? Now is your undoing, evil one. Now is the time foretold in the ancient prophecies of Monkey Island. Now is the time for the ultimate in Monkey Combat! <laughs> Oh no, we're actually going straight into some monkey combat. I was not prepared for this. Oh, that was a cool cutscene. This is such a cool setup. There's a giant stone statue that Chuck fighting a giant robot monkey. Okay, um, right, crap. All right, I've got my little book here. Oh wait, where is it? It's here. Got my little book. I remember. Hopefully, it's the same, the same rules and everything, and the same combinations. Uh, what? Well, hang on. Let's let's test it, shall we? So. Anxious. Oh, and by the way, by the way, just quickly, Ozymandrill, Ozymandias. That's good. That's good. Nice little reference there. Um, okay. So we are Anxious Ape. We want to beat Drunken Monkey, but it doesn't. What beats Drunken Monkey? Um, uh, Gimpy Gaboo. No, what's, what's that one called? What was the GG one called? Gimpy Gibbon. There you go. Um, so we need to get from AA to GG, which we can't do, but what else beats Drunken Monkey? Bobbing Baboon, and we can get from AA to BB, that's A, U, and E. Oh, no, hang on. His health is just going back up again, though. That's not fair. Oh, my you, so is ours. What's going on? Why is our health regenerating? Anxious Ape. Bobbing Baboon. Anxious Ape is beaten by Charging Chimp. BB to C... Oh, can't do that. Uh, Anxious Ape also is beaten by... Possibly Drunken Monkey. So, in which case, let's do a u chu or chi. Oh, it's just going straight back up again. Oh no! Bobbing Baboon defeats Drunken Monkey. Yeah, that. Oh, no, wait. I think I read a comment. I think I read a comment. I don't think I can win this, but at the same time, I don't think I can lose it, because, yeah, we're just regenerating health. I think I need to copy what he does, and I've just forgot that. I wasn't paying attention. Let me try copying him. See if that works. Let's just do... Let's just do that. Because that should result in a draw. Maybe that's the way to win. Okay, so A E U. Foul? Was it not a draw? Maybe I did it wrong. That 
There we go. I was doing it wrong. Yeah, I was getting fouls instead of actually trying to match his attack. So it's not so much copying him, but making sure that I'm on the same attack as him. Because, yeah, there's no, we can't win or lose. I don't know why the health is like that, but it is. I guess it's because we're in a giant robot monkey. Um, right, so we need to be Bobbing Baboon as well. Charging Chimp to Bobbing Baboon is e u a. <laughs> I assume he's just getting bored. <laughs> or he just gets fed up with draws. <laughs> Okay, so he's on charging chimp. We need to get. Oh, we can't do that one. We can't get from anxious ape to charging chimp. We don't. Oh, yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. ACO. Oh, he's looking quite defeated. Hey, what's going on here? Machak, you colossal idiots! I order you to cease this at once! Hey, wait a minute! You can't do this to me! I'm Ozzy Mandrel! I'm the future of the Caribbean! I come in! Stop! Don't! Ah! Oh, yeah! yeah. Don't even think about it, Pink Boy. Guybrush, how can I ever thank you for reuniting me with my granddaughter? Well, for starters, you could put on some pants. <laughs> Consider it done! Also... Yes? Would you please be the governor of Melee Island again? Uh-uh, no way, no how! I hated being governor! Well, why do you think I went all the way to Australia in the first place? For the cuisine? Grandfather, please. I can't stand being the governor. It's no way for a pirate to live. Guybrush and I need to be on the open seas, waving our swords, swashing our buckles. We're too young to become career bureaucrats. Well, <laughs> all right. But you better come by to visit. Every month. And I want to start seeing some pirate great-grandchildren. Um, <laughs> we'll see what we can do. <laughs> and so the circle of life continues. Hey. You're a talking monkey. Oh, uh, Elaine, I'd like you to meet Jojo Jr., the monkey prince of Monkey Island. Well, thank you, noble Jojo, for helping to make the seas once again safe for pirates everywhere. It was my pleasure, Mrs. Threepwood. But now I must be going. Somewhere out there, my monkey brothers and I have a destiny to fulfill. Where will you go? I don't really know. I hear that Martha's Vineyard is nice this time of year, but first we have a crew member who wants to disembark. Timmy! Farewell, everyone. Goodbye, Jojo. We'll never forget you. Of course I'll never forget him. I mean, he's a talking monkey. How creepy is that? Well, that's it. We've saved the mansion, found your grandfather, and once again made the Caribbean safe for bloodthirsty, grog-swilling reprobates. Phew, who knew married life would be so much fun? Guybrush, now that Grandpa's governor again, we're free. <laughs> we can go wherever and do whatever we want. Ooh, I want to be a pirate. I want a life-size chocolate pirate ship. Have you got any snacks? I'm starving. I want another shot at taming the manatee. Oh, there's more. Hey, baby, you can be my Elaine any time. <laughs> uh, I think it's got to be... 
I want to be a pirate. Elaine? Ah, <laughs> uh, there you have it. There you have it. That was Escape from Monkey Island. We got there in the end, guys. We made it. Oh, we did it. That's a nice ending. They always have a nice ending, these games. Uh, very sweet. So what did I think? Um, just about that last part there, I don't know, I feel like uh, every game's had the, the last showdown with, with the Chuck, and that one didn't seem as good to me, I don't know, the, the Monkey Combat fight didn't really seem very, I mean it was quite literally big in scale, but it didn't seem very like, interesting to do, um, not compared to the previous things we've had to do at the end of Monkey Island games, but anyway, aside from that, the game, what did I think of the game overall? Well, it's a very different one. Uh, obviously it was the first one to be in 3D and to be honest at first it was a bit weird um, it did look a bit ugly, it was a bit clunky, didn't control the same way obviously um, but over time, over the course of the Let's Play it did start to grow on me and I, I did get used to it and I think it's just, I, I understand why they did that because they wanted to try something different, you know, it, it had been three games in, in 2D so the the technology was there to do it in 3D, why not have give it a go? Um, that being said, I really do think these Monkey Island games work best in 2D. I think the animation's too nice not to really like, especially with Curse of the Monkey Island and um, the the remaster of the, the first two. You can tell that they, you can really have some funny animation and some really nice backdrops and detail, which you just couldn't get with this at the time. Um, but no, like I said, I like the fact they tried it differently, and I think the next game, Tales of Monkey Island, which I will let's play at some point, will also be in 3D as well, since that was made by Telltale. Uh, so that was, yeah, no more no more 2D Monkey Island, I guess. But um, aside from that, puzzles, yeah, puzzles, same old, same old, same old, I mean, they're, they're good, they're, they're strong, they're tricky, I, as you could see multiple times, got stuck on puzzles and needed your help. Um, the writing is just as... As good as always, just as funny, just as witty, full of uh, references and all that good stuff. So, and the voice acting is always always nice as well. Um, and that's about it, really. Yeah. Oh, look at all these people, man. All these characters we met along the way. Did I, Dave? Clive the Taurus, Dainty Lady Figurehead. Oh yeah. So who are the, who are some of these? Oh, Duck. Oh, look, Duck was the same voice as Guybrush. <laughs> Ignatius Cheese, oh, whatever happened to them? They're probably somewhere. Lua Bar Chef. Maggie Jin. Meat Hook. Murray. It was a good, it, nice to see some, and Stan, obviously, Stan's in there somewhere. Um, good to see some of the older, older characters come back. There's Stan. The three-headed monkey even had a voice, well, wow. good for him. Voodoo Lady. Oh. I'm waiting to see if there's like a little post credit thing. I can't remember if there was on the previous games. But um, yeah, like I mentioned, I will do a let's play of Tales of Monkey Island at some point, just because I need to complete the series now. I've done four of them. Might as well do the last one. I don't know when that'll be. It won't be straight away though. Uh, I think I need a little, uh, little break from Monkey Island. But I hope you've all enjoyed, and I'm sorry if it has been a bit painful at times to watch me play. Um, these are always blind let's plays. Not all the the point and click let's plays I do are blind, but I always I always do these ones blind because I, I like to experience it and and see what it's like for the first time on video. And I don't I don't think I'd have the same reaction to it if I knew what was coming up. Um, so yeah, the, it's it's swings and roundabouts really with blind let's plays. It can be good and it can be bad as well. But yeah, I hope it wasn't too bad. <laughs> I'm going to let the credits roll out and say goodbye to this Let's Play. Thank you all very much for watching, and until the next one, goodbye.
Um, Elaine? Jimmy? Herman? Mommy? G George? Hey, guys! I'm stuck down here! Wally? Lindy? Oh, long way down! Uh, Murray? Uh, Sean? Mike? Oh, Jar Jar? Thank you.